scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another FIFA 15 pack opening video. Yes, we have got 12,000 FIFA points to get through guys. I don't want to take too long with them, so I'm going to try and get through them as quick as possible. However, as per usual, I've got some questions from Twitter from you guys. If you want to follow me on Twitter or, or ask me some questions on Twitter, go to twitter.com slash Nepenthes and I will hopefully answer any questions that you guys have. Obviously, I try and answer them in videos. It's just a lot better that way. And the first question we've got is from J Josh Dash. AFC, I hope that's Arsenal Football Club, bro. He says, Fav favorite FIFA that has had foot. Um, for me, I, I would actually say this is probably my... Wow, that kit is nice. Um, I would say uh, this is probably my favorite FIFA, actually. Um, I, I, I really liked FIFA 11. I really liked FIFA 09. Um, there are certain things that I like in FIFA, like the collection book um, that no longer exists. I think that got removed in FIFA 10. Um, there are certain aspects of the game that have come and gone. Um, but I would say overall, my favourite FIFA with Foot has been this one. Um, I, I think the game is brilliant. Uh, I think Foot is lacking a little bit here and there, and we'll get to that in, in, in a little bit in the video. But yeah, I would say I've the the most enjoying FIFA I can remember, or the, the most enjoyment I've got out of FIFA that I can remember, has been this one. Um, I really like the gameplay. I like foot. Um, I, I love the fact that chemistry seems largely irrelevant this year, which for me is big because this is called the ultimate team. You know, FIFA ultimate team. So when you add chemistry in it, you are withdrawing people's ability to make their ultimate team. So the fact that there seems to now be no, uh, or not no chemistry, but chemistry seems to be largely irrelevant for the most part, um, makes it feel far more interesting as a game and, and allows you to build much more creative teams and not really care if uh, if you haven't got the perfect chemistry. So yeah, I would definitely say this one. We move on to the next question from Thomas Z or Tom Pass 2805 He says, who is the most overpowered player in FIFA 15? So, I obviously haven't used every player. Um, I'm going to put him to the trade pot. Any, by the way, guys, if you open packs right now, any Man City or any Man United players you get, sell them um, because they will go for a little bit more than usual for the simple fact that there is a tournament coming up that is a high requires um, either 11 Man United players or 11 Man City players in in your team. So um, yeah, there it's going to be uh, it's going to be good for for those of you that like Michael Carrick will probably go for a thousand coins instead of 500 coins. So uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I haven't used every player in FIFA 15 so far uh, this year, obviously. Um, but of the players that I have used. Uh, I would say Theo Walcott and Ibarbo, um, Ronaldo, Robin, Bale, Messi. They they were all fantastic. Like they they really stick out to me and uh, and ring a bell. Um, there's obviously there's a lot of players in FIFA and, and I find I find FIFA to be so much fun this year that like that there are so many. Oh what a fucking pool guys! We have Lewandowski. Get the fuck in. Get the fuck in. I'm looking for informs, but Lewandowski is good enough. Look at him. 87 rated. First owner club. Welcome, Robert Lewandowski. Put him in the team. Thank you very much, EA. Um, yeah. Uh, there's, there's just so many good attacking players this year that I don't know how to pick who is the best one. If, if, I ha if, you know, if there was a gun to my head and um, someone said, tell me your favourite player in FIFA 15... Probably in form Ronaldo, uh, to be honest. I think Walcott is unbelievable because not only is he cheap. Oh my God, get in EA. Yes, we get in form Samuel Eto and Robert Lewandowski. We're not even 3,000 FIFA points in yet, guys. Look at that. Four-star skill moves, 84 dribbling, 85 shooting and decent enough pace in this game. I'm going to test him out because he looks Fucking amazing. Oh, I'm so happy with that. This has been a great pack opening already. Get in. Um, yeah, I, I think for Walcott's price, he's probably the best player in the game. Um, we get Dante there. Uh, just because he's like for 7,000 coins, you're getting a player that should realistically be scoring you between 20 and 40 goals every 10 games. Um, so, and, and even, even if you have a bad time with Walcott, you're still going to score about a goal a game. So I think, you know, the Walcott is right up there with some of... Oh, we get piss check as well. That's a good pull. He goes for... A, he probably actually goes for about 20 or 30k. And the next question we've got is from Marco. He says, enjoying FIFA as much with the new update. You know what's funny? After the new update came out, um, 
I was I was hate I was hating. Oh shit, we get piss chick in the next pack. Holy crap. That's a th th guys, this has already been a fucking incredible pack opening. Holy shit. Um the few days after the, the update came out, I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't enjoying FIFA too much and um, I, was, I wasn't I was struggling. I was still winning so many games compared to losing. Like My record is just obscene overall on FIFA, as you guys may or may not know. Um, I, you know I'm using different accounts at the moment. Um, but my record overall is, is something like, on, on average, about 14 or 15 wins per loss on FIFA so far this year. Um, and I've probably played about four or 500 games, which is a fucking t ton of games, I know that. Um, and after the patch, the first few days after the patch, I wasn't really feeling it, and I didn't know why. Um, but I, I adjusted my style of play a little bit, and um, I, it's, it's back to winning ways. It's, it's all the same. It's back to the same stuff, you know. Uh, everything's going good. As we get Boney there, he was shafted. He was shafted, guys, not getting a, uh, not getting it informed this week. Um, but yeah, so uh, ultimately, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying FIFA still. Um, oh shit, we get Sammy and Azri. That's decent. That's, I like. I don't know how much he'll go for now because, like I said, Man City players will be a bit more expensive right now. But I know he only went for about five or six k before, so um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where we're at with that, but yeah. Um, so the bottom line is, yes, I'm enjoying FIFA as much. I don't play it as much. Um, I've and that's because I've been playing a lot of Civilization. Civilization Six came out, uh, so I've been playing a lot of Civilization and I've been playing a lot of Football Manager. And if you guys enjoy Football Manager, I do have a second channel. The link is in the description below, but it's YouTube.com/slash/NPZSports. NPZSports. And uh, I'm uploading a Football Manager series on there. So if you want to go check that out, that'd be awesome. Uh, show some love on the FM videos. I'm, I'm currently taking over Ma um, um, Southampton until the until the full release of the game is out. Because it's just a beta right now. Um, and when the full release of the game is out, that's when uh, that's when the fun starts. Because they the like, online isn't available right now and so on and so forth. So yeah, we've got to wait a little bit for that sort of thing. Um, so the next question we've got is uh, from Will, uh, Will Atherton. And... Um, I find this an interesting question because it is actually something I've, I feel fondly on. And um, Will says, I don't know where he got this from either. He says, do you think the UK government should do more about tax evasion? And the answer to the question quite simply is, is yes. But what I think they should do, and I know a lot of people won't give a shit about tax evasion or taxes because you're probably all too young, you don't even pay taxes. Um, but what I think they should do is lower the tax rate because Right now, the ta tax is so high in the UK that people don't want to pay it. Pay it, so they they don't pay it. They evade tax. If you lower how much tax people have to pay, they would be more inclined to pay it because why skimp? You know, right now tax is any like for a corporation, like for a business, is twenty percent. For an individual, it's it's a you know anywhere from sort of like twelve to fifteen percent, anywhere up to thirty forty percent. Uh, depending on how much you're earning. Um, if it was like a flat rate 8% or a flat rate 10%, people would pay definitely because you wouldn't want to like spend years and years in jail for evading 10% worth of tax. But to evade 35 or 40, let's say you earn half a million in a year and you've got to pay 230 grand of that in tax. Like fuck that man, you're only actually taking home 270k. I understand what tax is for. Tax is there to support those that are less fortunate. And I get that. And I, I'm all for that. But I think the government would probably earn more from tax if they lower the tax rate. Because more people, more businesses would be happy to pay the tax than try and evade or take businesses to offshore countries and, and offshore accounts to get away with paying tax without paying tax. I just think that would just make sense. Don't you guys agree? Do you guys agree? Do you care? You probably don't even care. Let's let's know if you care or not. Let me know in the comment section below if you care or not. Um, next question we've got is from Cameron James. Uh, he says, will you ever play subscribers as a series? Uh, the, the answer is yes, I will. Um, but I don't know how to do it. Um, I, I used to do it in FIFA 12. I did a subscriber series. Uh, subscri yeah, subscriber series. But I want to do it. Like, I thought this year in FIFA that EA were going to have a custom league in FUT and it's not here. Uh, I got told from quite a reliable source that custom leagues were going to be in FIFA Ultimate Team um, so that I would have been able to create a league and invite you guys into it. It just never happened and, and it's, it's really frustrating that it never happened. Um, 
So I don't know how to do it because I want to do it where I track a lot of stats. I don't just want to play like an individual, an individual, an individual, and then you know have uh, just my my score against your scores. I want to actually track stats and, and make it interesting, make it somewhat entertaining, um, which I just can't do without a way to kind of count the games and and monitor the stats. So if if there's a a specific subscriber series you want to see, no giveaways, no pink slips, no coin giveaways, guys, but just playing games. Uh, then let me know in the comment section below. Um, the last thing I want to talk about, uh, we still got 5,000 feed points left, but uh, this is going to take a long time to talk about. So, um, if you guys do or don't know, Madden, Madden, EA Sports Madden has, uh, oh, that's, oh, he was informed, what, last week or the week before, um, has Ultimate Team in Madden, right? And I've made some videos on it, and they have something in Madden called sets, and the sets are fucking incredible, and um, we'll get to those sets in a second. But I was, I've been talking for a long time to A9 Skills, uh, Bateson, uh, Fangs, you know, all the people I chat to on Skype about um, having sets in FIFA. Because this year's FIFA ultimately is shit, right? Because th they haven't changed much. They've changed a few of like the, the front end things, you know, the, the cards and uh, the, the little ball on the cards. They've changed the animation um, for the packs. They've changed heading to physical... Um, but in terms of features that they've added to, into the game, they have added in the um, they've added in the concept squads, which was basically Foothead squad squad builder. You know, as close as you're gonna get it. And I personally still use Foothead squad builder rather than concept squads. Um, and then they also added the loan system. Um, now the loan system is terrible because, like once once like right now, like I'll show you on my account here. Um, I can loan a player, right? And the, these are the players I get to choose from loaning from, right? Uh, all right, c fucking come on! What is this crap? I'm like I'm, li I'm literally pressing fucking like my controller's on as well. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so yeah, it gives you a, a, a number of players to choose from. Um, I choose Robin. Boom. Right. So I've loaned Robin. He goes into the team. He, you know, no problem. Whatever. I now can't loan another player unless I loan them from the catalogue. However, the players in the catalogue are, are... You can only loan them one time and they're mostly terrible. There's a few okay players in here. So you can loan for a maximum of three players, right? Three, four decent players and then the loan, then the loan feature is done. For the whole year, it's done. What they should have done with the loan feature is introduce new players into that foot central section every week or every month maybe throw some informs in there, maybe throw a legend in there and, and, and allow people to loan players revolvingly throughout the year so that they can actually test out and try new players rather than get one player one time and the better the player, the less games you can play with them. Um, I think that would have been great in the loan system but also uh, for, for the loaning to be able to get loan contracts in packs but have them untradeable so have them super super rare even like the bronze one one game the silver one three games the gold one five games so so rare untradeable so you pull bang look at this instead of this contract it's a loan contract plus five so now it's like hey if i've got a ronaldo on loan i can now add that contract and get five more games on my loan ronaldo and it, it, they're going to be so rare these loan contracts that you know you're not going to be able to just consistently play with ronaldo over and over and over and over again but at least you get the opportunity to, if they run out of contracts, eventually you know, hey, eventually I'm actually going to be able to get a, a loan contract if I open enough packs and play more with the loan player. So um, I think they've really missed a trick with the loan the loan system they've got in. Um, but with that being said, like I say, they're the only two new features they've added to the game this year, which is really shit. Like, uh, you know, I know like I'm not in EA's good books and EA have their ups and downs as a company, but ultimately, releasing a brand new game with just two new features that are ultimately shit is ultimately shit. So in Madden Ultimate Team, they have these things called sets. And there are so, so many sets and they offer such longevity to the game. Um, and I wish FIFA had them. And it's hard to explain exactly what they are because there's so many variables within the sets within Madden. But ultimately, imagine this, right? Imagine... Imagine you have something like the the collection book or the um, I can't remember like the Panini sticker album that used to be in FIFA, right? And for like you look at Arsenal's page and every time like instead of discarding a player, you put them into the the sticker book. 
So you complete the whole Arsenal Arsenal lineup, and I don't just mean the first eleven. I mean every single player in the Arsenal team that's in the game. You put in there, and the manager, the badge, and the three kits. So absolutely everything. And for completing that whole book, you get yourself a special Walcott. Instead of a 80 rated Walcott, you get an 85 rated Walcott. He's untradeable, so it doesn't fuck up the market, but you just get that for completing that. So to complete that, you've got to open a whole ton of packs. You know what? It's, it's so hard to talk about because I know what you, like I'm, not all of you, I know what a lot of people are going to think. A lot of people are going to think, oh, that'd be great. Lo everyone's just running around with some OP 85 Walcott. You know, like there's already overpowered players in the game. Walcott's already overpowered as fuck anyway. The whole point about the sets is to give people that play the game and and stay with the game for a long period of time um, the ability to have better players and uh, in Madden it works really 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 well I might make a Madden FIFA comparison with it I, I do know I know AA9 skills made a video on it so maybe he explained it and actually showed it a lot better um, but I want to do my own version of it to show my thoughts and my theories on how sets can work in FIFA and exactly what we can offer um, but I want to get the graphics made up for it, so it's going to take maybe a, maybe a week or so to actually get the video done. Um, but yeah, it would just be brilliant if, if like, for example, if um, to get like an Inform Ronaldo, like let's say Inform Ronaldo has been released, which he has, and he's no longer in packs, but you still want to get a, a first owner Inform Ronaldo. What they have in Madden is you can put like two of the same inform players or two like two of the same players into a set which they then get like discarded they're gone and you get one better player out of it so you could put two ronaldos into a set and they basically convert those two ronaldos into an inform ronaldo you lose two ronaldos it's probably not worth it for some people but if you want that inform ronaldo it's worth it to you and it's it's little things like that the the whole sets thing that's in madden I can't, like it's shocking it's not in FIFA because it's a fucking brilliant idea. It would make EA so much money and it would keep people interested in this game for the entire year. I'm telling you, the whole year people would be interested in it. It would make for great YouTube series. It would make for great video content. It would make for great general gameplay content. It would just make people interested in fuck because I know a lot of you guys that tweet me all the time, you're getting bored of fuck this year because it's exactly the fucking same. There's next to nothing new and people hate that. People hate the fact that there's almost nothing new. Um, they, they'll get bored of it, they get turned off of it and there's some big games coming out this year. You know, you've got GTA, uh, GTA is coming out on next gen consoles. You've got COD is coming out tomorrow. Actually, by the time you're watching this video, COD will already be out, the new COD. And uh, people just won't stand for a game that hasn't advanced when there's brand new games out that are going to be better for people. So anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Bit of a moan there, bit of a bitch. What am I here for, eh? Um, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you could drop a thumbs up, it would be awesome. Um, we did get ourselves an Inform and a Robert Lewandowski and Piss Check twice. It was a great start to the pack opening. It was a terrible end to the pack opening. But this is the end of the video, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace!